Yeehaw! Get ready for your awesome miracle and have no fear. Your blessing is here. Hi, my friend. It's Stacey Sherelle. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and being on my channel. I am so glad you're here. The title of today's video is You Are in Good Hands. God is saying to you today, my friend, you are in good hands. How are you doing today, my friend? I am doing good. I'm doing so much better now that you are here. Tell me how you are doing in the comment section below. I want to hear from you. All right, my friend, I'm going to pray for us. Are you ready? Okay. Dear Lord, thank you for keeping your covenant with me and may I forever keep my covenant with you. Have your way in this video and in every video I create and may you distribute them around the world for your glory. Lord, um, may you continue to grow my platform in the way you see fit and may you continue to shine me like the sun for your glory. Lord, continue to bring me to my online soul tribe and may we make a awesome tangible impact in this earth. Lord, be the executor and builder of my platform, Lord. And Lord, just bless my friend who is watching this video. They came here by faith, believing that I hear from you. So bless them more than they can ever ask, dream, or imagine. Give them the desires of their heart. And may their life never be the same after viewing this. And may their life go in the perfect trajectory that you designed it to go before the foundations of the earth were laid. Lord, continue to bless my friend and I. Um, continue to um, encamp your... Continue to bless and protect my friend and I. It can't be your angels around us, Lord. Continue to just grant us your sovereign grace. And may we continue to grow in favor and in um, with you and with man. May we be in divine alignment with you. May we um, just have a supernatural peace, a supernatural joy. May we fulfill the book we have of our life in heaven and may we just may we just be deeper in love with you father thank you for being so loving and for being the great orchestrator of it all jesus thank you for dying on the cross for me and for saving the world and holy spirit i worship you thank you for being god in the earth today and for living inside of me in jesus holy mighty and beautiful name i pray amen Amen. All right, my friend, you are in good hands. So as I walk with God, like this morning, like I'm very like atypical, not atypical, but like type A, like if something like um, doesn't go like, do, 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 like I get off track and then like off track with God, like I have a certain like plan, like like just like a daily routine and if something gets off with my like faith routine like with god i get like it's like everything else goes derailed so like you know this morning i just got in my bible and i was like god brought me to like um was it luke like the beginning of luke and it was talking about like zacharias and elizabeth and you know um how um they were just they had the weight on the Zachariah, was it Zachariah? Simon, was it Simon? Simeon? Anyway, Zacharias had a promise that Elizabeth was gonna have a baby. And then, I don't know, it was, even it, was, it could be wrong, yes. But then it was like Simeon, he was an old, old in age. And then it was prophet Aunt Anna. And then it was like, you know, sometimes you can desire, like, you can, it's normal for like us as humans especially women, um, we can desire love. We want like a, a mate, spouse, whatever. But I think all the humans desire love. And, but she only had her husband for like seven years. And she spent like the rest of her life, I don't know if she was 80, like just serving in the temple, just like worshiping God. And I thought that was so cool. Like, like God was her everything. And then like, she got to see the baby Jesus. And then she was like, all right, I'm cool. And I think it was Simeon, Simon. I could be wrong, but um, he got he met Mary and Joseph and the baby. He blessed Mary 
and Joseph, I believe. And then he's like, God, I saw your promise. And like, not one of them doubted. So it's just like, they weren't weary. They just had a word from God and they believed. And they believed they were in, their life was in good hands. Like, how great to just like give your life fully to God and just know that like, I'm in good hands. Like, I don't have to worry about anything. Like, I'm in good hands. And I will see God's promise. What I'm trying to tell you right now, my friend, is you are in good hands. Like, I don't care how long the promise is taking. And don't worry. God will re reroute you if he needs to. And when I mean reroute you, he's not going to let you wait on, wait on something in vain. If something shifts or changes, because, you know, people, people have free will, things can shift but you're still gonna to get to your destination. You're still gonna see the goodness of God in the land of the living. You are still gonna see God's goodness. You are still gonna see the promise come to pass. I assure you, I assure you. And just to have this like, this hope, this joy, like this overwhelming like contentment. Like I'm, I know he's a dog, but I'm just like looking at my, my, um. My brother's dog, my nephew's dog, man boy, like he's just like chewing his toy, like living life, like just so content. I'm just like, I want to be that content, like just like content knowing that whatever God promised you is going to happen. But in the meantime, the meantime, like isn't that crazy? Like the meantime, like in the meantime, sometimes the meantime can be the meanest time because it's just like you think God is like withholding something. It's like, you're, you're so mean. Like just time is so mean. Like, it's so mean. Like it's so cruel. It's like, because you want something so bad. But in that time, like you have to learn contentment. You have to learn like perseverance. Like you're growing, you're learning. Because then like nine times out of 10, when you get the promise, I mean, it's not, it's different from Anna and Simon um it's different for them because they saw the baby jesus and it was like this is the lamb of god so it's completely different that that's a promise that will that we're still the world is still like prospering off of but when i mean like like a promise what i'm maybe what i'm waiting on or what you're waiting on like an earthly promise like even when we get that because i've gotten things and it's just like now what you know, even though no matter how great, how great it is, but like, let's be real, it's kind of like, and then you're going to have something else you're waiting for. You're going to have another set of problems or it's not going to take away, like something so good, it's not going to take away like life happening. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, like, so just like be content in the meantime and just know that you're in good hands where you are. All right, my friend, I'm going to decree and declare some blessings over you. Are you ready? Okay, I decree that you'll be so content in the meantime. I decree and declare that whatever you're waiting for right now will come to pass. I decree and declare that you'll be blessed for waiting on God. In Jesus' holy, mighty, and beautiful name, I decree and declare, amen. Amen, yay, yay. My friend, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for investing your time with me. I love you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Kisses, mwah. Hugs, hugs. I'm a friend. I love you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.